In this video, I'll be introducing amazing new movesets that will keep your Skyrim experience on par with the latest action games in 2024. I've gathered a diverse range of creators' movesets to showcase, so stay tuned and be sure to hit that subscribe and like button. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Certainly, the first one on the list is Anchor A's MCO ADXP moveset. It provides a variety of animations suitable for different weapons. With rich motion frames, the movements are not only natural, but also support movesets for all weapons in Skyrim. Recently, it has expanded its support to NPC movesets and even includes support for Stagger, continuously enhancing its completeness. Personally, as someone who enjoys Black Desert Online-style action, Anchor A's moveset aligns with that direction, and I'm delighted to introduce it to you. The moves like raising a shield, throwing it, and emitting sword energy are not only spectacular, but also transform into powerful action attacks through two-handed swords, making the game feel distinctly non-Skyrim-like. Moreover, when using hand-to-hand -hand combat, summoning various weapons, and dynamically progressing through combat scenes make me question if Skyrim is truly a game from 2011. Do you find it equally astonishing? Next up is Smooth's For Honor in Skyrim moveset. Creator Smooth developed this moveset inspired by the For Honor game. If you're looking for the most realistic, smooth, and natural moveset, this is the one to use. It supports all types of movesets, from one-handed swords to two-handed swords, and even includes movesets for weapons like spears or katanas. Especially when used in conjunction with Smooth's moveset mod and dynamic sprint sprint stop mods, the transition between attack movements becomes natural, allowing you to experience smooth motion transitions. However, since attack, movement, sprint, dodge, etc. are all separated and released individually, you'll need to find and install them all individually. Particularly as there is no scar patch available, if you want NPCs to use them, you'll have to go through the scar patching process, making it a bit cumbersome. It would be great if someone could integrate all of Smooth's content into a faux mod for convenient installation. Next, we have Black's Elden Rim moveset collection. Black, being a creator with a considerable variety of movesets, might present you with a challenging decision on what to choose for your Skyrim build. Personally, the Elden Rim moveset collection seems like the most suitable option, particularly if you're pursuing the From Software style combat of Elden Ring, or if you want to assign distinct movesets for animated armory weapons to players or NPCs. However, to apply animated armory weapons, such as Spear and Katana, you need to install movesets for them individually. The Elden Rim moveset collection is a great choice. It embodies more of a Dark Souls-style moveset rather than being excessively flashy or extremely natural. The attack tempo might seem fast, making it challenging for enemies to evade attacks, adding a somewhat hardcore feel. Installation is straightforward. By installing only the Elden Rim moveset collection, you can change all animated armory movesets to MCO ADXP. Although it comes with a scar patch, keep in mind that it primarily consists of attack animations, and you might find it a bit cumbersome to individually install movement and dodge animations. Next, we have Very Ming Ming's ADXP MCO Nordic Animation Complete Pack mixed with the Valhalla Nordic Animation Pack. These movesets create Nordic or Valhalla-style animations. They come with scar patch support by default and provide a sense of well-balanced and smooth motions. A distinctive feature of these movesets is the separation of combat and non-combat animations. You can choose to apply the movesets only to Orc or Nord races, or customize options to apply them selectively to the player. The strengths of these movesets lie in their balanced feel and ease of installation. They offer a level of natural movement without being overly flashy. If you're looking for simplicity, balance, and want to apply movesets selectively to specific races, or if you prefer straightforward and well-balanced animations, this might be a good choice for you. 
Next up is MeadowWeb's animation series. MeadowWeb's animation series consists of three different animation models. First up is the Eivor Animations AC Valhalla, Replacer, which transforms the original game's combat and movement animations into new ones inspired by Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It changes animations for one-handed swords, one-handed sword and shield, two-handed swords, two-handed axes, two-handed maces, dual wielding, and more. Next is the Eivor ADXP MCO Sprint Attacks, which adds sprint attack animations for various weapons, such as swords, daggers, battle axes, maces, spears, great swords, and warhammers. Lastly, there's the Holmgang ADXP MCO moveset for NPCs, introducing NPC attack animations with an Assassin's Creed Valhalla vibe. While these mods by Medoed are generally impressive, a significant drawback is the absence of player attack animations. It's like peeling off the flashy exterior of a fruit, only to find it lacks substance inside. However, considering the overall smoothness of the animations and the potential for future updates, these mods could evolve into a comprehensive animation package. Keep an eye on them for potential improvements down the line. Next up is Yong Ri Ming's MCO moveset, a modification that transforms the Sky SA animations into MCO movesets. This mod is known for its flashy and fast-paced animations. Unlike Smooth's movesets introduced earlier, Yong Ri Ming's movesets have a completely different character, featuring extravagant and rapid motions. The creator individually crafted each animation instead of planning and creating them as a package set, and there are ongoing efforts to create remastered versions individually. Overall, these movesets are characterized by their flashy and fast animations, offering a stark contrast to Smooth's more realistic style. While some motions may be somewhat unrealistic, if you're looking to implement a Skyrim with a more action-packed feel, considering these movesets might be a good option. It's important to note that this is a Paywell mod, so careful consideration should be given to its use. As I am just presenting the mod and do not express support or opposition to Paywell, I recommend addressing any questions about it directly to the creator. This is just an introduction, and I hope it helps you mod Skyrim however you want. This concludes the introduction to the moveset modes. Even in 2024, keep your Skyrim on par with the latest action games with these incredible movesets. Don't miss out on the modding magic. Subscribe, like, and stay tuned for more epic adventures in the world of Skyrim. Until next time, happy modding.